Now, recently with cases like Hobby Lobby and other things going on in national politics, I started wondering, what does separation of church and state mean? Is it still a prevailing idea in America? Did we ever really know what it was? I asked myself those questions last week, which got me to do some digging. So I looked and there was nothing in the Constitution or other founding documents that said separation of church and state. There was something in the Constitution that said Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. So I started thinking, where did that deal come from? Like, then I found out there have been presidents in the past who've talked about it, like the third U.S. president, Thomas Jefferson, or the fourth, James Madison, or the 35th, John F. Kennedy. When I asked about his Catholic faith, Kennedy said, I believe in an America where the separation of church and state is absolute. Now, I say all this because it seems like with all the shouting going on in the room, we forgot what the conversation was about. There's a culture war going on and the weapon being used is ignorance. Ignorance on what makes us America, or independent for that matter, which is ironic because we just celebrated the 4th of July. I guess ignorance really is bliss. The fact is, is that whatever this country is about, it starts with the Constitution, the rule of law, and case law that shape the identity of who we are as a nation. And according to that Constitution, Congress can't make up some religion, which is great because that's the last thing we need government to be doing, and it can't prohibit the free exercise of it. The Constitution and the Religious Freedom Restoration Act was the basis for the decision of the SCOTUS regarding the Hobby Lobby case, and that's why they ruled how they did. It's the federal government that told them that they had to be involved and cover these things, even though they violated the Green family's faith. When you look at it, there's a reason why the separation of church and state isn't in the Constitution, and the parts regarding religion is stated the way that it is. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, Nick, what about the masses or women? Why should a company's belief affect what they offer to their employees? And I'm like, did you read the Constitution? One more time, Congress shall pass no law prohibiting the free exercise thereof. What do you think that mandate in Obamacare did? It placed a significant burden on the owners from practicing their religious beliefs. I didn't know that owning a private business meant that I had to leave my God at the door. That's not in the Constitution either. And speaking of the masses, we have three branches of government and two of them, if not all three, are controlled by the masses in some way. Which means that it's not all up to the Supreme Court to define what this country is about. That's what the masses are for. That's what democracy is all about. And to me, whether you agree with this decision or what the separation of church and state should be, or even the constitution, the truth is most, if not all of it, has been up to you. That's how this country was set up in the first place. And to me, that said nicely. I want to thank my guest, George Kenny Jr. for joining us today. We had an amazing conversation. Check his music out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in because without you, there would be no me. The Nate Nice Show we do is every week, same channel, same time, so hopefully you'll tune in. I'm your host, Nate Nice. This is The Nate Nice Show. And remember, to be easy, but most importantly, be nice with it. I'll see you next time.